Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday market webcast. Okay. Um, daily chart, another day, another all time high. This time, 37.23. You see the 20 day, you see the 9 day. Um, let's just go to the hourly chart. So, we talked yesterday about basically pick a level. Pick a level, bears, any level you want. Pre FOMC price. Hourly mid band, I guess. The nine day, the 20 day, the weekly pivot. Pick anything, pick any two. Convert it on a closing basis. Keep it converted for more than a day and you will become relevant, sort of, in the tape. So here was yesterday. You spend the whole day up above. You test the mid band, uh, hourly mid. Nicely there around the noon hour. Again here, didn't really go anywhere yesterday, but you know, I was saying in the room and I've been saying for a while, you know, the bears come in, or I'm sorry, the bulls come in and they defend prices. Just because the bulls defend a price doesn't mean they can always take it higher every time immediately. Um, you know, sometimes they're just kind of holding serve. They had already made their all time high earlier in the day, so they had already done their job. And the bears basically, they were no call, no show. They were not, they didn't show up at all. There were no bears. <clears throat> when you can't generate more than five to 10 minutes of price action below the hourly mid band, when you have you know daily pivot support right off the bat um, in Globex, and you can't involve any significant line on the chart, you're gonna get run up and you know, you're gonna get all time highs. So last night they pull it back, they do the roundy, roundy holds, uh, Europe gets a hold of it, you get another all time high. So look, it's not that it's not that I'm all bulled up and it's not that I'm all bared up. It's just that in looking at price, you had a situation Monday, Tuesday, where they couldn't convert weekly pivot. It was their second and third chances to take to convert the daily mid band, the 20 day simple moving average. And basically they've been we talked about it. I don't know. Go back to Tuesday's webcast. They've gotten dragged behind the bus for the rest of the week. And until the bears break that pattern, until they break that pattern, shorts are little trades. Um, you can be short. You can make a few handles. We were short last night. Um, did six and, and, you know, didn't quite make a middle. And some people took a middle. I didn't. I just wanted to see where I woke up in the morning. Stop me out overnight, and then it goes up and does that. That's, you know, you can do that from the short side. That's no problem. What you can't do from the short side is plant your flag, say this is done going up, say that this is parabolic, it's out of hand, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's really, really not. We're not blasting off to the third standard deviation upper level on the chart. Has it gone farther and faster than, or, you know, than, uh, than, than people want it to? Yes. And that's where that mindset gets generated. It's in between your ears. It's very simple to take this down. Any two of those lines, convert them on a closing basis, keep them converted for an entire globe X. And, you know, and, and we're, we're at least in the conversation. And if you're saying, well, that's a lot to ask. Really? The bulls kept all four of them converted yesterday. So far, they're all converted today. And Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, shall I go on? It's not hard to do if you have any kind of tape control. They have no tape control because this sucker is bid. For whatever reason, it's bid. And it is what it is. So you can be short right now, positionally, or you can make money. And, you know, that's, we've seen this, you know, what, 80% of the time over the last 10, 12 years? I mean, the tape just in a vacuum, it wants to go higher. And you have to, to a certain extent, you have to accept that, okay? You have to trade to take advantage of that. And then you have to wait for actual tangible things from price on a chart that tell you, okay, well, we might be coming in. None of that's happening right now. Not a bit of it. 
So numbers today. Hourly mid band, 3711. Rounding with support, 3700. That's going to be important. Um, volume weighted average price, 3712. Uh, so it's sitting right there with the hourly mid band. Uh, you see the 20, you see the 9, you see the weekly. Um, I would expect a pull back into the 3710 area off the open, maybe as deep as um, as the roundy. Look, if the bears are going to show up today, they better get back to the roundy. They better they better make a lower low versus th versus this right here. Otherwise, we're either going to get bored to death chopping around above 3700, or they're going to really reach on a Friday, which is possible. But I expect the open to be whippy and choppy while it makes up its mind. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care. Trade them well. Come check out the room. I'll talk to you Monday. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.